I am Kumuda, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce. In this video, we are going to see the fundamentals of partnership. In that, we will see about the profit and loss appropriation account. First of all, we see about the meaning and definition of partnership. Partnership is the formal agreement by two or more parties. That is, two or more parties are the two or more partners joined together doing the business is called as a partnership. The partnership firm should be made for sharing the profits. Then we will see the definition of partnership. According to Indian Partnership Act 1932, it defines that the partnership is the relationship between persons who have agreed to share the profits of the business carried on by all or any of them acting for all. On the basis of the definition, the following features are classified. Under that, first one is agreement between parties. So, there should be an agreement between partners who are all involved in the partnership firm. Next one is the number of partners, that is two or more persons. The minimum number of partners in the firm is two. Maximum number of partners are 10 in case of banking business, 20 in case of other business. The next point is sharing of profit. The main motive of the uh, partnership firm is sharing profits. So, the sharing ratio is given in the deed as per their profit sharing ratio, they have to share their profits. If it is not given, then they, can, they have to share their profits and losses in the equal ratio. Next one, profit motive. That is, the business motive should be profit, but the business should be lawful. The lawful business only under the partnership firm. If it is an unlawful business, then it is not comes under the partnership firm. Then the liability. All the partners should have an unlimited liability at the time of any risk. Then business is carried on by all or any of them acting for all. That means any one of the uh, partner taking the representative for taking decision uh, for all the partners or all the partners having the equal rights to take a decision. So, these are all the major features of partnership. Next, we will see what is partnership deed. The deed means it is a written agreement or written instrument which contains all the details from the partnership firm to till the end of the partnership firm. All the details are entered in the partnership deed. As per the partnership deed only it runs. Next, we will see what are the contents involved in partnership deed. First of all, the name of the firm. All the firms should have their own name. So, that name is the first content of partnership deed. Next, names and addresses of all the partners. So, two or more partners who are all involved in the partnership deed, the name and addresses are mentioned. Next, nature and place where the business is located is also entered in the partnership deed. Then date of commencement that is the date in which the partnership is started is also mentioned. Duration of partnership. There is no duration for partnership because there is no end for partnership. It is a continuous and perpetual succession. So there is no end for partnership. But some cases the partners are uh, joined together doing the business for some, uh, some of the time. So, when the time is over or when the purpose is over, then they have to dissolve the firm. So, that time the duration is mentioned in the partnership deed. Next, amount of capital contributed. The capital amount should be brought by the partners to the firm. So, the amount, uh, how much they have bring to the partnership firm is also mentioned in the partnership deed. Next, rules regarding operation of banking accounts. Uh, that is, in which type of bank accounts they have to maintain, how can we, uh, we, uh, amounts are withdrawn and deposits. So, all the details regarding bank accounts are detailedly mentioned in the partnership deal. Then, the ratio in which profits are to be shared. How can we, how can they share their profits or losses in the pro, um, partnership firm is mentioned in the partnership deal. Next one is, Interest. There are two types of interest. Interest on capital and interest on drawing. The capital amount which is brought by the uh, partner, so the interest amount is paid by the firm. But in case of drawing, the drawing amount is withdrawn by the partner, so the interest amount is paid by the partner. 
so both the rate of interest on capital and the drawing is mentioned in the partnership deed next interest on loan the loan amount is given by the partner to the firm so it is one of the income of partner expenses of firm the rate of interest on loan is also mentioned in the deed next is salaries commission these are all the incomes of partner so which is the expenses of firm how much salary they have uh, paid to the partner how much uh, commissions they have to pay to the partners are mentioned in the partnership deed next is safe custody of books of accounts and other documents of firm so some of the major accounting books are keep safely until the end of the partnership deed so how can they uh, keep safe to the uh, accounts are mentioned in the partnership deed next mode of auditor all the accounts should be audited by the auditor so uh, the mode of auditor means um, once in 3 months or once in 6 months or once in a year is the mode of auditor in which time they have to auditor uh, their accounts is mentioned in the deed next rules to be followed in case of admission retirement or death of a partner in each cases they have to maintain many accounting treatments uh, for example at the time of admission they have to calculate the a uh, sacrificing ratio calculate the new goodwill amount and uh, calculate the uh, revaluation of assets and liabilities and also calculate the adjustment of capitals so likewise at the time of retirement at the time of death there are so many accounting treatments are maintained all the rules should be entered in the partnership deed next settlement of accounts on dissolution the dissolution may be made in many case, many mode of dissolutions like dissolution by court dissolution made by all the consent of all the partners or dissolution made uh, for uh, unsound persons uh, like uh, lunatic like that so in many cases the dissolution can be made so at the time of dissolution how can they settle the accounts of outstanding liabilities and the partners capital and all uh, entered in the partnership deed then mode of settlement of disputes among the partners sometimes disputes may arise among the partners so that time how can they uh, settle the outstanding liabilities and also uh, partners capital is mentioned in the partnership deed so these are all the contents in partnership deed next we will see absent of partnership deed sometimes the uh, partnership deed is absent in partnership firm so that time what are all the accounting treatments we have to follow in in case of uh, profit sharing ratio uh, they have to share equal because there is no profit sharing ratio is mentioned in the profit uh, partnership deed so the partners are equally distributed or equally share the profits among them next interest on capital there is no interest on capital is allowed if the partnership deed is absent next interest on loan i already told that the loan amount is given by the partner to the firm so the interest amount is paid by the firm so there is a standard rate of interest is 6% if it is not given in the partnership deed also they have to pay 6% interest on loan to the partners next interest on drawings there is no interest on drawings if it is uh, not mentioned in the partnership deed or absence of partnership deed next remuneration there is no salary there is no commission is paid to the partners if it is uh, if it is not mentioned or absence of partnership deed so these are all the accounting treatment at the time of absence of partnership deed next we will see profit and loss appropriation account um profit and loss appropriation account means it is the extension of profit and loss account we all very well know about pro- what is profit and loss account what are the entries entered in profit and loss account so just i have explained that then we will go for profit and loss appropriation account uh, net profit and loss account means it is a nominal accounting nature that is all the expenses and losses are entered in the debit side all the incomes and gains are entered in the credit side like that uh, the profit and loss appropriation account is also one of the nominal accounting nature so all the expenses are entered in debit side all the incomes are entered in credit side what are the expenses what are the incomes 
there are five entries are entered in profit and loss appropriation account what are they interest on capital interest on drawing interest on loan salary and commission in that what are all the expenses of firm interest on capital salary commission interest on loan all the four entries are entered in the debit side because these are all the expenses of firm then interest on drawing is alone one of the income of firm so that is alone we have to enter in the credit side uh, in this slide uh, we have easily understand the profit and loss appropriation account format so from the profit uh, from the profit and loss account we have taken net pro if it is a net profit we have entered in the credit side if it is a net loss we have entered in the debit side then we have entered the five entries that is interest on capital salary commission interest on loan all the four entries are the expenses of firm so we have entered in the debit side interest on drawing is alone one of the income so we have entered in the credit side after entering all the five entries we have analyze we have calculated the profit or loss if it is arise the balance is arise in the debit side then it is a profit if it if the balance is arise in the credit side then it is a loss profit or loss it should be distributed to the partners as per their profit sharing ratio so this is the format of calculating profit from profit and loss appropriation account next we will see how can we calculate the interest on capital i have already told that there are five entries are entered in profit and loss appropriation account in that five entries we have to calculate interest on capital and the interest on drawing separately then we have entered in the profit and loss appropriation account so from that workings we have first find out how can we calculate interest on capital how can we calculate interest on drawing we will see one by one first one interest on capital so the capital amount is brought by the partners to the firm so the cap interest on capital is paid by the firm to the partners so the interest on cal capital is calculated from the opening capital how can we calculate the opening capital i have given the format first we have taken the closing capital from that we have add the drawings during the year then deduct share of profit and additional capital then we get the opening capital from that opening capital only we have to Oh, calculate the interest on capital. Then we will see one best example. It it will make you to understand the interest on capital. Yeah, first of all, I I would like to explain the problem. Then we will see the solution. In this problem, there are two partners, Joe and Krish. Their profit sharing ratio is three is to one. During the year. Uh, their uh, at the end of the year their capital is one lakh fifty thousand and seventy five thousand. During the year their drawing is given twenty thousand and five thousand. Then the profit before adjusting all the adjustments are sixteen thousand. Then profit sharing ratio is given. Additional capital is given. What is the additional capital? Rupees sixteen thousand. The additional capital only brought by the Krish. the rate of interest on capital is 12 percentage so these are all the informations are given in the problem from this information you are required to prepare a uh, calculate the interest on capital then we will see the solution as per the format we have to take first the closing capital so uh, first we have write the capital at the end for joe's 150000 for chris 75000 from that closing uh, capital we have to add the drawing less share of profit after that we get 158000 for joe's 76 for krish from that we have to deduct the additional capital for joe's there is no additional capital for krish it is rupees 16000 after deducting the additional capital we get the opening capital of 158000 for joe's 60000 for krish So for Joe's there is no additional capital, so we directly apply the rate of percentage and calculate the interest on capital. That is twelve percentage of one lakh fifty eight thousand eighteen thousand nine sixty as the interest on capital of Joe's. For Krish there is a additional capital, so we have to uh, calculate two rate of interest. That is from uh, opening capital and additional capital. 
from open uh, from opening capital the rate of interest is 60000 into 12% 7200 for additional capital uh, it is 960 because the additional capital is introduced only on 1st october so the remaining 6 months only they have used the additional capital so the interest is also calculated for the 6 months the final amount is 8160 as the interest on capital of crush so this is the method to calculate the interest on capital next we will see interest on drawing so drawing is made by the partners the drawing can be made in two ways that is the same amount is withdrawn in the same equal interval or different amount is withdrawn in different time so if the same amount is withdrawn in a same interval there are three types that is beginning of the month end of the month or middle of the month in each cases we have to use the proportion Uh, when the amount is withdrawn at the beginning of each month then we have to use 6.5 by 12 as the proportion when the amount is withdrawn at the end of each month then we have to use 5.5 by 12 is the proportion when the amount is withdrawn in the middle of each month then 6 by 12 as the proportion so the these proportions are very very important when we calculating interest on drawing so these proportions are used when a equal amount is withdrawn in equal interval suppose if the uh, partner is withdrawn different amount in different uh, interval means then the, we have to find out the interest on drawing by using product method in that product method we have apply product into in rate of interest into 1 by 12 as the proportion so by this uh, example we we can easily understand how can we calculate the interest on drawing in different period of different months so first i will explain the sum and we will see the solution calculate the interest on balu's drawing their drawing is given below so balu drawn different amount in different months that is first february 1500 first may 5500 june 30th 1500 October thirty first six thousand five hundred, December thirty first two thousand. So they have given that different amount in different months. So from this we have to prepare a interest on drawing. For that we we can uh, uh, we have to put a four columns. First one is date of drawings, then amount. These two details are given in the problem. So directly we have fill these two columns. From this we have to find out number of months used. So first drawing is made on first February. Amount is thousand five hundred. This amount is used from first February to thirty first December. There are eleven months. Next amount is withdrawn on May first. So the five thousand five hundred amount is used from May first to thirty first December. So eight months. Next withdrawn June thirtieth. Amount is thousand five hundred. So this thousand five hundred is used from July first to December thirty first. So six months. Next withdrawal is made on thirty thirty first October. Amount six thousand five hundred. So this amount is used from November one to December thirty first. So there are two months. Last amount is withdrawn on December thirty first. Rupees two thousand. This amount is not at all used even for one day. So number of months used zero. so from this number of months we have to find out the product that is amount into number of months we get the product uh, we have to add all the product sum and we get a sum of product that is 82500 so uh, from this uh, product sum of product we have apply the formula and find the interest on drawing with the proportion of 1 by 12 we get 825 as the interest on drawing so this example is very useful to find the interest on drawing next one we will see how can we uh, apply the profit and loss appropriation account for this we will see one example uh, first of all i explain the problem then we will see the solution in this problem there are three partners amit babu and charu their cap capital contribution is 50000 40000 and 30000 their profit sharing ratio is 3 is to 2 is to 1 salary of Uh, amit is thousand, commission of Babu is five thousand. Then interest on capital is six percent per annum. The drawing of each partner is given. 
that amit rupees 6000 babu rupees 4000 and charu rupees 2000 interest on drawing is rupees 270 for amit and 180 on babu 90 on charu the net profit before uh, charging all these adjustments is 35660 so these are all the informations are given in the problem from this we are you are required to prepare a profit and loss appropriation account we have already seen the format of profit and loss appropriation account just we have entered all the entries in the profit and loss appropriation account uh, that is salary commission interest on capital or the expenses of firm so we have entered all these entries in the debit side the interest on capital is only calculated on the opening capital the opening capital is also given in the problem just we have apply the rate of interest and just just put it in the debit side next interest on drawing is also directly given in the problem so just we have entered in the credit side after entering all the entries uh, we have to find the balancing figure that is pro we get a profit of rupees 12000 This twelve thousand is shared among the partners in their profit sharing ratio. So this is the format, and this is the problem for profit and loss appropriation account. I hope you all understand the fundamentals of partnership and profit sharing ratio. Thank you.